I'm Patrick Coffin, host of the Catholic Answers Live radio show and Catholic Answers Focus podcast and the co-founder of Immaculata Pictures Independent Film Company. I was born and raised in Halifax, Nova Scotia in Canada. Went to Franciscan University as a grad non-trad back in the previous millennium and uh, it's just fantastic to be here back at my alma mater sharing what I've learned here and uh, hopefully encouraging and affirming affirming people who come to the conference uh, to get engaged with what it means to be a Catholic today on purpose. The initial relationship with Christ is kind of like the initial first date with someone that you think maybe this could go places. Everyone is at a different threshold in their faith journey and as Christians we're supposed to, yes, obey 1 Peter 3.15, always have a ready reason for those who ask you of the hope that's in you. And not, a, not only just do it with gentleness and reverence, but don't do anything until you're asked a question. So many Catholics, uh, when they begin that initial burst of love for Christ, they feel like they want to tell everyone. It's very understandable. But our Lord, through Scripture, wants us to be more focused on Him, more getting to know Him before we send the message to other people. Because it's that classic phrase, you can't give what you don't have. So that initial threshold of relationship is very, very important because it's, it's like divine candy. You want to go for the feast. And this is the first little blush of, of divine romance. Um, some people like the parable of the seed that falls on rocky ground. When the first sign of trouble comes, maybe they go away from a conference and they, they, they experience what family conflicts is like or, or they got a problem with their boss or that someone, some loved one is sick. And because God doesn't mag wave a magic wand, they figure, well, maybe this was just a subjective emotional experience. That is a fatal mistake. And it's something that happens a lot to, to beginners, that they identify the gifts of God, like this experiences of consolation and presence, with the giver. And it's the giver that we have to, to keep our eyes on. He's the prize. So in the sports uh, metaphor, keep your eyes on the ball. He's the ball, uh, not the things that come along with having a relationship with the ball. And so I think that initial relationship with Christ, that first seed, is very important to lead us to the next stage of spiritual development. All the masters of prayer talk about three stages of the, of the spiritual life. You have the way of the beginner, which is that, uh, the first you know, feelings of love. Um, then the, the next step in discipleship, sometimes it's called the way of the, the proficient um, or the illuminative way, where you really get mystical graces in prayer. You really have a sense, strong sense of God's presence. But you're also attached to sin. And all the way to the third stage, which is the way of, of the perfect. And that's the mystical marriage, which the saints have. And they die in that mystical marriage. Um, but that initial seed relationship with Christ, that first beginning one, that is very, very critical. And not just because it's the beginning of, a, hopefully, as the last line of Casablanca, says this can be the beginning of a beautiful relationship or friendship, but because it needs to be protected. And so for people who are newcomers to the spiritual life, you have to get linked with other people. Uh, hopefully people who are further along than you. Um, if those of you who golf out there know that the best way to play a better game of golf is to play with better players because you, you see the gap between where, what you are and where you want to be. How much more so with our relationship with Christ, that we want to um, rub shoulders with people, hang out with them, see how they live as Christians uh, in the warp and woof of their daily life. And the best way to teach the faith is to, is to catch it. It's a glorious uh, infection of divine grace. And the more we fill ourselves with what's beautiful, with what's holy, with what's pure, with what's fun and energizing, the less likely we'll, we'll stick attached to our sins, which as scripture says, uh, cling so, so closely. So very important to find a mentor. No one wins an Olympic gold medal without a coach. Likewise, no one can win the prize of eternal life without some kind of direction, some kind of model or coach or uh, inspirer to give us that kick in the batissimo that we all need.